Hello folks, this is Mickey J. Beaming with a vinyl blog. Yeah, if I open my, uh, my special effect, the chair don't start squeaking. Uh, this is actually on my iPhone uh, because my camera, the lens doesn't come out like, you know, like this one. And for some reason, uh, when you uh, press that, uh, the camera doesn't come out. So, uh, well, the lens, because it's a three tier lens about that big, I think, well, it doesn't come out about that much. And I think I've done it somehow. But the actual audio is pretty good on this uh, iPhone because the last time the projectiles practiced, which was uh, about a couple of weeks ago now, um, this you find my iPhone was used because Carl Waring, uh, the drummer, has got a Samsung, and it, I thought we were pretty shocked on playback because uh, we can actually plug the video in on a uh, Steb's PA. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a vinyl vlog, uh, an update. Uh, it's now December, uh, but a couple of, weeks, couple of days before Christmas. The, lot, that's gone quick the year, a lot of people say. Um, but first of all. Um, the last thing I put up was a uh, unboxing because <laughs> I don't really do much any, any boxings because a lot of the stuff I get uh, MP3s on digital, some stuff I get from the post. Like uh, the last two things I got were Bad Boy Eddie and uh, from the guys in California. I'm doing after work, get get for the get in the post, get get in the post, get the post, and of course I've already opened it, so there's no point in sending a chippy bag. And uh, Suzanne sent me six eight seventy fives down the road. She's the lead singer, so that was some time ago. And the only thing I've been getting recently is vinyl. Now, I haven't had much recently because of money and that, And uh, but I got something last week to treat myself. Um, I did a video, I did a vlog on that. But this one I wasn't get last week because I didn't want vinyl in it. Uh, don't, excuse the pink bag if this is not my re this is not my idea. It's actually the record savings of pink bags. They usually have a logo on them because they, they got a pink, they got like a money box pig on the on the small ones they still got. So I went in there earlier, earlier and talked to him. He said, yeah, he's got the small bags, but they've got logos. But I thought, I don't want to carry a pink bag. <laughs> right, now this band, uh, a, a very famous punk band, uh, Crass. Now, I kind of like them. I've liked them for a number of years. The only trouble with Crass, their stuff is very rare. And I believe that a lot of the stuff has been repressed now. Good job, really, because even though this is an original. Um, a lot of the time when you get Crass stuff, I used to run the shop. A lot of people may or may not know. And getting Crass in a reasonable condition was really, really, really hard. <laughs> you know, you've got like... Get a, a vinyl in your hand, and there's a white circles everywhere. People have been constantly playing it, so getting something even in reasonable condition it was like gold dust. But today I got this. Well, I had it last week, but he found it. Crass, best before get back, which is actually a compilation. Now this stuff is really rare. Now I can, you know, usually with their uh, uh, vinyl albums, they come in like uh, newspaper sleeves. When I first saw them, I thought, what the hell are they doing? But I didn't realise that like, this is actually the inner sleeve of this. Um, get it open. Yeah, you got like uh, that kind of thing. Now they used to like be more like like photocopies, like uh, you know, you got like crass all the way around the outside, and some of the albums are like that as well. I think Subhuman albums are like they got like around the outside. I don't know that I can't remember if Subhuman and Crash used to be on the same record label, but um, but yeah, put that down. But this is the actual album, a best of a uh, collection of stuff, and uh, but yeah, I thought I'd get one because I like punk in general. I get a lot of new stuff as well for the radio, of course, and uh, if you didn't know. And uh, this is actually quite clean, Nick. Uh, I think he's quite surprised as well. Paul Lyle runs it. And this is the first album. Uh, first, this is double vinyl, by the way. I thought it was Gatefold vinyl. Oh, yeah, it, it, you know, it is Gatefold vinyl, pardon me. So that's the first vinyl. So you've got um, quite a bit on here. You've got uh, side one, side two, side three, side four. You've got uh, side one is Do They Owe Us a Living? And look what you know, like a lot of punks about. So you've got Steve Ar Ar Ignorant on vocals, Eve Libertine on vocals. Uh, Joe Divari on vocals, Hari Nana on rhythm guitar, Phil Free on lead guitar, Pete Wright on bass vocals, yeah, a lot of people, Penny uh, Rimbard on Rimbu, Rimbard, Rimbard, I don't know, R I M B A U D on drums, Jesus on artwork, videos, tapes, and Mick DeField on filming, so everybody. Uh, that, that comprises of everybody, so you've got like all the people on that. Now, one of the guys on this, I can't remember his name, I think it's, uh, oh man, who is it? Uh, Steve Ignorant, I believe it is. He's actually doing spoken word now. Because Chris Oakes, who come up here for the radio show, which is a monthly thing now, called Radio Variety Show, The Strummer Room Night. It's actually the next one I'll be telling more about in another video, but it's at the end of January after he comes back from holiday and Christmas and stuff. Um, the guy, Steve Ignorant, I believe it's Steve Ignorant. Uh, I might be wrong, you might have to correct me on that. Because uh, he mentioned it, because he's going to a gig at Jericho Tavern, I believe. Uh, I think Chris has booked him. Uh, doing spoken word, and I think it's, I think it's comedy. Um, but going back to the Crass album. There you go, that's the inside 
sleeve all the um, political stuff, so get it all in there. Which I'll be fine to get it all in here. There we go. Lives of artwork. I said the. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't think this is the original. Uh, I might, maybe, I may assume in this, but I think this is like. You know, obviously this is like separate EPs at one point, so I'm not quite sure that this is any of the artwork that's originally with it. But this is also the inner sleeve, uh, the, the quality. But yeah, that's what I got today, and I, I said it's the first time I've had any crass. I've never had any crass in my collection because I said getting a quality like this is really hard to. Get. A lot of people, if you've got original punk, original crass, keep it, even though we want it. <laughs> I don't know how many Crass albums were released, I'll have to put a discography on a link somewhere. There's quite a few albums that released EPs over time. So this is like 1984 release, so this is 25 years old. Uh, uh, Crass singles compilation, double album, so yeah, so quite cool this. So that's what I got today, uh, that's what I'll be last of this year. I've, uh, th thanks to uh, the local people that uh, from Banbury, that, uh, so I did actually put out the word for vinyl originally when I first got the collection going again. Because I've been doing this since May, uh, regrowing my collection, and I've said it as numerous times on the vlogs and weekend vlogs that I put up on YouTube. And basically, this is the series for only my vinyl, nothing else apart from the updates. So I sometimes uh, put them together. So, so yeah, many thanks for watching. I'll try and I'll remember put up the um, uh, the links to the other. Uh, I can't believe I can't remember how many off the top of my head how many vinyl vlogs I've done. But this year, I'll start in May, so it's been about ooh, seven months, I think, or a bit, no, a bit, a bit less than that. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.